Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Daisy. This is Daisy Does It. So, trying to get this one situated for everyone. And two, I think because of the beginning of the year, let's do a deck confession. Um, I'm currently at work, um, but our computer systems are down. So I'm taking this time to kind of write out everything and just put it all on paper. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first debts uh, that we're going to talk about are our credit cards. Um, I'm going to write them in order here. So I've separated out all my debts from credit cards, vehicles, student loans, and another debt that is not here yet, but it's coming in the next mm, six months or so. So that's going to add to the number. All right, so we're going to start with credit cards. The first credit card that I have is Capital One. This one is 557 48 Sorry guys, I'm a lefty, so you'll see me writing in your face. I apologize. Second one is another capital one. It's 3200. Then I have a credit one, 62203. I have a chase card. The balance on that is fifteen forty-two forty-one, and I know you see here that it says Chase Mom. So to give you a little background on that, um, when I first when I purchased my first home back in 2015, my mother gave me a credit card. It was her credit card, and she told me that I could use it to buy anything I needed for the house or anything that happened um, and so what I did was I used her car to buy extra furniture to decorate the home things of that nature um, and then what I told her is the balance on her card um, I would pay off that was the agreement she only had like three thousand dollars on that credit card so anything that was extra I knew I put on that card but I told her I would pay it off completely um, and when I say I ran it up, it was double digit thousands. So, um, paying it off now, the balance is 62.12 and 58 cents. All right. So these five credit cards total. Twelve thousand one hundred thirty four fifty. All right, so that goes for credit cards. So the next category that I have is cars. I have two cars I have a Honda and I have an Acura. Um, the Honda I purchased in 2015, the Acura I purchased in 2018. Um, my husband actually drives the Honda. Um, so the balance left on that is $3,883.64. We plan to have that car paid off. Um, by about June, July, August at the latest. And then my Acura has $14,443.06 left on it for a balance of 18000 three hundred and twenty six dollars 
and 70 cents in car loans. And now to the fun part. Not really fun. It's going to be depressing. You see how many numbers are here? So to give a little background, student loans are my greatest um, debt category um, at the moment. I am currently a doctoral student, but I also went to a private institution for undergrad and for my first and second master's degrees. So um, I owe quite a lot in student loans. I'm going to turn it just a little bit. Um, Navient are all private student loans, um, and they're for my undergrad only. Great Lakes is my federal student loan provider, and they are for all of my graduate school loans um, and some of my Stafford loans. So a little bit of uh, undergrad, but mainly Navient is undergrad. So I've split um, Navient into the individual loans. They are 11 different loans. So let's get started. And then, oh, uh, so I did them from the smallest balance to the highest balance but these last two I'm gonna star them um, they don't have the highest balance but they have the highest interest rate Let me move that over a little bit um, so all of the other loans my mom co-signed for me so they're like 2% interest um, and my dad co-signed these other two and they're sitting at like a 7% interest. So I put those two at the bottom just to denote them. All right, so let's get started. Uh, 1996 has a balance of $6,214.22. 1988 has $8,000. Two hundred fifty-eight dollars seventy-one cents. Nineteen sixty-two has nine thousand one hundred eighty-six dollars and nine cents. Twenty twenty-eight has ten thousand nine hundred and eight dollars eighty-five cents. Thirteen thousand four hundred and four dollars and thirty two cents. Fifteen thousand one hundred sixty three dollars ninety six cents. Fifteen thousand three hundred and eighty four twenty two. Here's the big ones, right? So Four hundred and forty four fifty one twenty forty five has fifteen thousand two hundred and twenty four nineteen and forty three fifteen has seventeen thousand eight hundred forty seven dollars. No cents. So the Navient grand balance of these is a hundred and sixty-seven thousand four hundred ninety dollars fifty-seven cents. I know, ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Would I do it again? Probably not. Probably not. Okay, so. Move you up a little bit. Um, 
I'm sorry about this angle, y'all. I'm a left-handed person. So, Great Lakes. Wonderful Great Lakes. So, I have two separate loans for them. Um, one is all the unsubsidized and subsidized loans. That is 171, 306, 49. And then my grad plus loans for all my master's degrees and part of my doctoral degree is 140, 724, 27 for a grand total of 312, 76. Yeah, numbers are getting very big, y'all. And then, last but not least, um, I have the mortgage down here. My house is currently being built. Um, I will be sharing it with my husband, my bonus son, and my daughter. Um, so I'm going to put the full amount here of what the loan will be in. We're expected to close on our house in May, but they haven't started building it. So, um, I'm assuming July, August, which is fine because my lease is not up until September. Um, so the mortgage for our home will be 280,835 dollars. So let's talk about these totals. I'm gonna do the total currently. So all of the credit cards, cars, and student loans. Um, so I'm gonna just write that out over here. Sorry, y'all. Um, total as of 118.22. Which is today is five hundred nine thousand nine hundred and eighty two dollars and fifty three cents and now this is all mine my husband has student loans he has a few credit cards um, his student loans are about thirty thousand dollars give or take um, and he has less than $5,000 in uh, credit card debt. Um, and although he drives the Honda that is included in mine, um, I had the Honda before I even met him. Um, so I consider that mine because it's on my credit report, but he makes the, you know, he contributes to the cost of that, um, which is part of the reason why I'll be able to pay that off so quickly. Um, and then the total debt that we will have, or I will have, once the home is added, is $790,000. Eight seventeen fifty three. 17 53 oh look at this number I wish I could tell you that I was like a doctor or a lawyer or even a six figure salary earner but I'm not I laugh because this is just ridiculous um, I work for this the state. I work for, I'm a government employee uh, for the state and my husband works full-time um, as a warehouse employee. Uh, we do bring in a six-figure income, household income. Um, but yeah, we are, yeah, I don't, I don't make six figures. Um, so this debt, we, uh, the plan, the goal, is to one pay off this Honda because that 
monthly payment it's about four hundred dollars a month so taking that out of the equation um, will jumpstart the debt snowball to be able to pay off you know all of my credit cards um, credit cards my Honda I mean my, excuse me my Acura and then start tackling all of the rest of this debt so these student loans y'all I'm just gonna have to tackle them like I'm eating an elephant just one bite at a time that's all you can do um, Great Lakes is in deferment because I am a doctoral student Navient not so much. They said they want their money and they're going to get it. I actually start back paying on them next month. Um, and then the mortgage. So um, feel free to come along on this journey with me. I know this looks absolutely insane um, for somebody who does not bring in a six figure salary, but can't change it now it's here so we're gonna do the best we can and pay it off all right so if you have any tips tricks anything comments feel free to leave them below um, please re be respectful y'all um, this is very vulnerable and all up in my business so uh, but I'm sharing this journey because I know I can't be the only one with um, student loans this high and not having a six-figure income I can't be the only one and a lot of people on their debt-free journeys um, have paid off a large part of their debt or they have more credit card debt than student loans or you know I'm not saying my number is so much lower than anybody else's but the majority of my debt is student loans by far it's more than my mortgage. That's a problem. <laughs> uh, uh, my undergrad school cost about $60,000. I was on a partial academic scholarship, so I still had to pay out of pocket about $30,000. I graduated in three years. Still came out with over 90000 So these numbers right here with interest, um, yeah. Um, I think when I graduated in like 2010, it was 110, 120. So interest over the last 11 years has really added up on these, even though the interest rates on these here are relatively low. So I'd love to have you on this journey with me and just document this journey. And I appreciate y'all for watching the whole video and I'll be talking to you soon.